Welcome to a very special coding tip of the day. I am doing something that is not a tip at all. It is purely for your entertainment. So grab yourself a nice steamy hot cup of cocoa and spike it with some cheap brandy. Cheers to the holidays. Okay, let's get to it. Today's coding tip of the day. I am going to attempt to create a snowman with CSS. The way this is gonna go is I'm going to just struggle somehow to make a snowman that looks half decent. And then we're going to compare my snowman with the best snowman I can find on CodePen. Mine is gonna look so bad. First things first. <coughs> so good. First things first, let's make a website. Oh, apparently I did already. Let's run a Python simple server to serve this up on port 3000. Great. Okay, so now I have my index files this is where we're gonna be editing stuff. So let me let me get the, the basics in real quick. Okay, we're back. So what I did was just set up my, my basic HTML document. Um, and it looks like this. I have a sky and I have a ground and then this red box is where I'm going to put my snowman. As you can see, it's very photorealistic. You can't even tell this isn't a picture of a beautiful landscape. Anyway, I feel like I should know what a snowman looks like first. Let's do clip art. I don't know. Yeah, you get some creepy snowman like this over here without typing clip art. So I think I'm gonna try to keep it. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. Th this one is pretty close. L let's let's kind of let's kind of base our snowman off that. This is our this is our goal right here. Let's zoom in. This. Okay, let's get to work. Th this is this is a good use of my time, for sure. No problem with that. This is gonna be the body. So each of the LIs is gonna be background color white, fifty percent to make them circle. Oh, I'm gonna have to style these individually. Yeah, 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 we're gonna do that. Okay. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad, a little big. And then they all need to shift up, except for the first one, because they need to kind of stack a little bit, or shift down, rather. I think, I'll, let me look up how to do the nth child selector first, because I, I kind of forget that. Uh, is it just colon nth dash child? That'd be nice. Okay, so the first child we want to be, yeah, so we're gonna need three of these, whoops. And then the second and third need to be pushed up. So we'll do more position relative. You know, you know what it'd be. Ho! Oh, I didn't send them. That's right. Ho! Whoa! Great. Okay, cool. No, no, no. Not bad at all. Let's do some buttons. Three buttons to be exact. So we're going we're gonna to repeat this kind of process here. That's not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay. We got some buttons. Now let's do, let's do, uh, let's do the arms. I'm not... The arms kind of worry me because first of all, I've never, I know you can rotate items. I'll just have to look it up. So I think maybe what we can do is then place them next to the buttons and then kind of like angle them out. Yeah, and then I think, um, yeah, we'll do that. So this will be an arm. Oh, the body, uh, uh, mm, 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 no. So I'm expecting them to come on either side of this, which they don't. Oh, I know what I did. I never closed the divs. Oh. That is such a rookie mistake. You guys are probably screaming at the camera, except not because I'm gonna edit this all out. Okay, cool. So now I think what I wanna do is just take these, angle them outwards, and then just kind of push them. So this comes to the part where I have to learn how to rotate things in CSS. Wow, that seems to be extremely easy. Okay, this, is this, is this, e is this as easy? What? Oh, look at that. Okay. So the right arm needs to rotate 45, and then the left arm. Yeah, this is great. Mm -hmm. Arr! We have a snowman that has arms like this. Looking great. Let's uh, reference back our snowman. Let's do. Let, let's think about this actually. Oh, okay. I'm back. The camera here stopped recording, so I, I missed a couple things. But let me catch you up. First of all, we still have this atrocity on our screen here. I've added a mouth and two eyes. Basically, they're just three divs stacked on top of each other. You can see that I just took three divs, stacked them on top of each other. This one's the eyes, nose, mouth, and the eyes are just two divs placed next to each other, circles. Uh, the mouth is the same thing, but with five, and then I relative positioned the second and fourth one down a little bit, and then the middle one down a little bit more, so it looks like he's smiling. 
Okay, now the only thing, the only two things left to do are the nose and the top hat. And as you can see, I already kind of started looking up. I have no clue how to make a triangle in CSS, but fortunately the internet does. And specifically my friend, Chris Coyer, over at CSS Tricks, been around since I've been developing websites. CSS Tricks is one of those old school resources, so, but he has all these arrows. So we're gonna take a, let's see, I think I want arrow right. Why not the left? I'm right-handed, you know? Yes, I need a nose. Let's see what we got. Okay, yeah, that's okay. That's not bad. You know, we'll work with that. Let's make it a little better. Hey, that's not bad. Kind of looks like Freddy Krueger with these, or Jason, the villain person with those, with that red border. Let's take that away. That's not, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We're getting there. And then we need a hat. Oh, also during the break, I added the hat. It's just a div class hat two divs in it so each of these let's make it red like red's a good red's a top back color right oh whoa 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 i think okay i think this needs some height is what the problem is that's not bad that's not bad that's not bad okay we got a hat it's a little bit fatter than i want oh uh, yeah maybe not hey it looks okay i mean the, <laughs> i don't know why i'm obsessing over this the snowman is literally looks like it's gonna haunt my dreams Let, let's uh, I think we can make like a band, you know, across. Ooh, a little low. Just like looking at you, skeptical snowman. Hey, there we go. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna call it done. That that that's a done snowman. I think it was pretty good. I'm pretty happy with what I could come up with in like 20, 30 minutes. Obviously I could have written my CSS better, but let's just, as promised, let's compare to the top result on CodePen. I, <laughs> I already know that the, even the, like, I bet even the first, the first result is going to be leagues better than mine. Yeah, look at this. Like, look at these. Damn, that's pretty good. Look, it's got the shading here and everything and the shading on the arm. Let's, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. This is like a spot the difference kind of thing, you know, where there's like three very subtle and almost indistinguishable differences. I feel like it's kind of like that. Well, as you can tell, I'm an artistic genius. And this has been Coding Tip of the Day, holiday edition. Make sure to drink yourself a nice steaming hot mug of hot chocolate. And I hope you have a happy holidays, happy 2018, happy new year. And I will see you on the flip, on the flip side. Peace. It's Christmas time.